Good evening, everyone. Uh, if I can't win a green jacket by winning the Masters, I guess uh, Michigan State's the next best thing. <laughs> I'm honored and humbled to be standing here tonight as an inductee of the 2024 Michigan State Athletics Hall of Fame. I want to congratulate my fellow Hall of Fame class of inductees as well. It's a great honor to be forever linked with legendary coaches and athletes. Thank you, Michigan State and the selection committee for selecting me to be part of this class. I want to thank Kate Souter, the Varsity S Club, the athletic department, and A.D. Allen Holler for putting on such a spectacular weekend and event. You have all made coming home special. I want to thank God for blessing me with so much more than I deserve. He has blessed me with a second chance at life and many individuals who have helped pave the way for me to be standing here tonight. Some of those individuals are here with me this evening, and I can't thank you all enough for being part of my golf journey. You all deserve this award as much as I do. To my parents, Jim and Karen, the real MVPs, from a young age, you have always stressed the importance of believing in myself, and I didn't know how important that was until I got to college. Anything is possible if you believe in yourself. I will never be able to repay you for the time, sacrifices, dedication, and love you showed me growing up, but know that I love and appreciate it all every single day. Whatever I am today, it is because of you two, and I'm proud of who that is. To my sister, Nicole, I thank God every day for blessing me with a sister like you, the big sister everyone wishes they had. You have lived your whole life in the shadows of your younger sister, and not once did you ever show signs of jealousy. Thank you for always being proud of me, standing by my side, and being my strongest supporter. Your love, support, and words of encouragement have meant the world to me. My grandparents, who were and will always be my biggest fans, I still look for their faces in the crowd, but I know I have two looking down from above and one supporting me back at home. Ever since I fell in love with the game of golf at the age of four, I have had the privilege of spending countless hours and walking many miles with my grandparents on the golf course. My grandparents drove me all over the country to my junior tournaments and continued their support through college and into my professional career. They were present for many firsts. My first high school state championship win, my first national win as an amateur, my first collegiate win, my first professional win, and they even got to walk around Oakmont as I competed at the 2010 U.S. Women's Open. A grandparent's love is strong and deep, and I'm forever thankful for all the experiences we shared together. To the members whom I consider family of Lincoln Golf Club in Muskegon, thank you for your support and contributions to my life. You all have gone above and beyond to help and support me. I will always be grateful for the opportunities you have provided me. When I was four years old, I was diagnosed with leukemia. The members didn't hesitate to hold a benefit scramble to help my parents pay for treatment expenses. Not only did your generosity and compassion help my family during a difficult time, but it was that day I held a golf club for the first time. I guess you can say the rest is history. Bob Scandalaris and the donors of the Women's Golf Program, thank you for believing in us and Coach Stacy. The success of the Women's Golf Program, bro, golf program would not be possible without you. Your generosity, commitment, and support makes being a Spartan so special. The opportunities we are blessed with as Spartans is because of you. Bob, I know you're here. Um, I just want to thank you for the opportunity you provided me uh, for my professional career. Thank you for sponsoring me to pursue my dream of playing professional golf. It's an opportunity I probably wouldn't have had elsewhere. To my academic advisor, Melissa Talent, I'm sorry I made your life so difficult for you, but I appreciate all you did for me. You played a major role in helping me navigate the world of higher education and provided much needed dose of encouragement. Thank you for believing in me and being patient with me for my six years. Yes, six years, you heard that right. Thank you for always having your door open, even if it was just to talk about my cat, Boo Boo. I truly appreciate your hard work and passion in making sure I was able to stay on track. Because of your commitment and love for your student athletes, I was able to graduate eventually, so thank you. To the women before me who paved the way for women's golf at Michigan State, I could never imagine being classified with the likes of Joan Garrity and the others. They have done a lot for Michigan State and for women's golf, and I wouldn't be standing here tonight if it weren't for them. So I have to thank them and thank all the women before me who've made this program what it is. To my husband, Joey, you are my greatest blessing. After countless mood swings and stupid arguments, you never give up on me. You are my rock and best friend. 
Thank you for being my pillar of strength, encouraging me when I'm down, and doing everything just to make me happy. I appreciate and love you. Lastly, the legend herself, Coach Stacy. Coach, stand up, because I don't know where you're at. There she is. If there's one thing I love about Coach Stacy is that she never shies away from a good challenge. And boy, did I challenge her. It was the end of fall semester in 2006, and I get a phone call from my academic advisor, Melissa. No hello or hey, just office now. I knew this wasn't going to be a pleasant meeting, and it wasn't. I was told I was academically ineligible to play spring season of 2007, which was the worst because we were hosting Big Tens that year. It was at this moment I thought my future with Michigan State was over. I had disappointed my family, my teammates, coaches, and the university. I was the laughing stock of the Big Ten. I wasn't sure if this was something I was going to bounce back from. Michigan State was ready for me to pack my bags and to head home and never return. Coach Stacy and Coach Lauren, however, worked their magic and somehow convinced Michigan State to give me another chance. Even then, I was still a problem child. I'm not sure if we ever saw eye to eye during my career, but I will always be thankful for Coach Stacy and Lauren for not only believing in me, but forcing me to grow up and appreciate the opportunity that's been presented to me. Thank you for instilling in, in me the importance of getting an education, even if it did take six years and I'm not even using my degree. I will always have that piece of paper and this jacket to remind me of the dark times that taught me a lot. Spartans will, right? You both empowered me not to only be the best golfer I could be, but the best version of myself too. My struggles went beyond the classroom, but all it takes is one coach that believes in you. Coach, I don't tell you this enough, but if it wasn't for you, I don't know where I'd be today. This honor is just as much yours as it is mine. Thank you for everything. My experience at Michigan State was amazing, and I have great appreciation for all the opportunities that MSU has provided me. It's hard to imagine what my life would look like if I didn't decide to stay close to home and become a Spartan for life. This honor means so much to me, and MSU means so much to me. I want to thank the university again for the opportunity to be standing up here with these great athletes. This is a night I will never forget. Thank you, God bless, and go green.